And I'm back with a nice special little opening today. This is a very unexpected video for me to make today because I, like I said, I wasn't going to be hitting the card shop this week because of back and forth to the vet with the cats. And yeah, we just did like, I, I just did another vet run today with another one of the cats. So we're just, we're racking up the vet bills right now, but of course, racking up the vet bills doesn't mean I'm not going to order stuff. So, um, somebody sent me a link to the, um, the big shop in Japan. Um, God, I never know how to, I, what is it? Todokan, Todokan. I think that's whatever the name of this shop in Japan is, but this shop in Japan has like a ton of wrestling stuff. I had to basically hold back from ordering anything. They have so much stuff there. And somebody actually sent me a link because they had a Maya Yukihi card, which I needed. So it was a really good price too. Compared to eBay prices, especially on Maya Yukihi stuff, this price was just killer. So I had to get the card, but the shipping was basically the same, almost the same amount as the card was. So the shipping wasn't going to change if I ordered three or four or five more cards. So I ordered a whole bunch of cards. So I have this nice package. And the awesome thing is, is they sent it DHL, which is just awesome because I ordered this right now in Taiwan. It's Tuesday night. I ordered this on Saturday night from Japan and it's here within three days. Like it just astounded me when they first, when they shipped it out right away. And then I got the notification from the customs and I figured it'd be a couple of days after it hits customs. And all of a sudden it was here today when I got home from work. So I was totally happy. So just to show off a little bit before we crack that thing open. Now, this is not all of my Maya cards. Um, I put most of my Maya cards into one touches just because she is my main collection. Um, Yuka is my other main, my other main collection, Yuka Sakazaki, but I just don't have as many of hers. And for some reason, my Yukihi, I just get a lot of them. There are a few I'm missing. I'm missing a few years of her base cards. I'm missing a bunch of her specialty cards and I don't have the dual card. My friend has the dual card, and I'm hoping I hit something, something crazy that he wants, that I can get that dual card off of him. But right now, these are the main six that I have in the top loaders. Now, the my base cards for 2020, Ambitious, um, 2021 and 2022, if it's a base auto, it's in my set. So I have the boxes that I think I've shown before where I've got the whole set in order in there. So I would like to take the Mayas out, but then it feels weird because they should be in the set with everything else. So I'm just kind of anal that way, I guess. But here's what we have here right now that I just brought out here for fun. This would be the one that we had in our last video, right? This is the 2018. Uh, this is the 2018 auto of Maya. Absolutely. She's got such a great auto. And she's absolutely gorgeous, too. So can't really complain too much about anything with Maya. So there's the 2018 auto. We're going to put them up here with our ECW stuff. 2019 is really cool because 2019, she had two autos. She had two separate autos for her two separate personas. Now, her auto is basically the same, right? Like, her auto is basically the same, but she has... More like the good and the bad, right? Like the pirate, not pirate princess, but like the ice princess and then the regular Maya. Those ones I traded. I actually got a great deal on these ones because I had a friend who was looking for a couple of cards from me. These actually weren't even that expensive a couple of years ago on eBay. Somebody had them up and either the BBM value wasn't as high back then, but also I think the person just kind of wanted to get rid of them. So I was like, buy me those two cards and I'll give you the cards I have. So, and then ambitious has that, I think it's a six card. Maybe it's a seven card set of all of Maya's different costumes from over the years. It was like a special set they put into ambitious when I believe it was because they didn't have as many signers that year because of COVID. 
So they got a bunch of Maya ones. Now, these are really nice because these are on card. All of these are on card. Not like the 2021 and 2022 sticker autos. These are all directly on card autos. Now, these are three of the specialty Maya ones. There's two other ones that I need that are on eBay right now, but the prices are absolutely insane. I'm hoping that this Tadokan shop gets a few of these in that I need in the next while, and I can just order off of them. Now, these ones, uh, see, I put the base. I'll show you. This set had a special insert pack of all of her autos. Or not all of her autos, of all of her costumes. I believe there's seven of them, but they're actually part of the actual set. Yeah, I'm actually looking above me right now. And there were... That's number 100. Yes, there's seven of these. Uh, so there are seven of the Maya cards. And there were only 30 of each one made. So each one of these auto cards is numbered out of 30. So you can guess why people jack the price is massively high i've hit three of these in boxes i have one double which is let me just get this back in here with its two cards back to back all right um i have two of this card i believe this is the one that i have a double of and i'm hoping to trade it for another one that i need but there's seven of them in this set i have three and Hopefully, I can fill in that set a little bit more over time. But that is things falling down in my office here. I'm just trying to cover up the crap on the bulletin board up here. Okay, so here we are. This is part of my Maya collection. I have at least six more Maya autos from the different base sets and also the specialty ones that came in those sets as well. I have the specialty chrome auto of hers from 2022, and I have a specialty one from 2021 as well, I believe, and then I've got all her base autos, and I believe one of the years also had two separate autos again, kind of like these two. There was more like the dark Maya and then the regular Maya card, so... Yeah, we have six here. I believe there's at least six or seven in my collection right now. So I have about 12 or 13 Mayas. And inside of this nice DHL package that we have here, we are going to add to our Maya collection. Now let's see how this Tadokan place ships. Probably pretty well. I would guess this is probably nicely protected because they are a very good big shop in Tokyo for wrestling stuff. They did pretty good here. Like they've they've taken a box and folded it all over to really protect it. And this is just cards. This isn't 8 by 10s There were a few 8 by 10s and there were a few of those, you know those white boards that everybody gets autoed? They have some really good prices on those. And I was really tempted to buy some of those, but I was afraid of the way they might ship them. So this was kind of a test to see how good their shipping is. And honestly, from the look of this, their shipping is killer. So I am not really worried about ordering 8x10s and that other stuff from them. I'm more worried about getting my stuff out and me damaging the stuff here right now. All right, I'm moving off camera for a second to cut this because I'm just looking like an idiot swinging cardboard in front of the camera right now. So, okay. So inside all that monster-ass cardboard is pretty flimsy cardboard. And it doesn't feel like they're in top loaders. All right, we're going to have to see here. This could, be, this could be a slight complaint, but yeah, they're in... They're in a tiny... Oh, no, actually, no, it feels like there's possibly top loaders inside. All right, so we had a giant bag with a giant cardboard inside with a smaller cardboard inside and then with a tiny ass little nope they are not put into top loaders come on guys okay i guess they seem like they're in pretty good condition i they had so much cardboard around them that they were protected but that still is a little 
it's a little iffy to me for them to have them that way. Okay. So they're in their regular. Now you can see they have their little price tags on it. So this one was 1,100 Japanese yen for this one. All right. So let's go through. I only ordered six cards, but these are six really nice cards. Now this was one I don't really know that well. I, I don't really know that well. This is from True Heart 2020. Um, from True Heart 2020, this is Chiharu. All right, Chiharu. She is one of the ring announcers. Now, I have three of the other ring announcers. The ring announcers were always on this golden bronze card with the black. And I just really like the look of those cards with the ring announcers. And she was pretty cheap, like the 1,100. 1,100 Japanese yen, that would be like 250 or so Taiwan dollars, 250 Taiwan dollars is about eight bucks US, all right? Eight bucks US. You see the prices of these things on eBay and they usually start at 30 or 40 bucks US. So ordering from Japan, hell of a lot smarter. All right, so there we go. That is, I'm guessing I'm getting her name right, is Chiharu. Uh, Chaharu is one of the ones. I just kind of wanted to get a couple extra for certain sets, even if they weren't exactly my PC collections. All right, we're going to jump to this one next, the other 1,100 one. This is, of course, from the 2019 set. Matches here with our two that we have here of Mayukihi. These are the only ones I have from 2019 right now, but this is Hibiscus Me. Um, Hibiscus Me is one of the girls that I did not get to meet. She came to Taiwan and wrestled here just before I started going to local wrestling shows. She actually had, um, she had a match against, um, Hannah Kimura. She was here in a match against Hannah Kimura. Really, really sucks that I didn't get to see or meet Hannah Kimura before she passed away because she did wrestle in Taiwan a few times, but, um, Hibiscus Me, very, very cool wrestler. I've watched a lot of her videos. I've watched the video of her and Hannah here in Taiwan. And I just kind of wanted a, I wanted a card of hers to go with that set. I'm not really actively going after the 2019 set because it's a lot of damn cards, but it's just nice to have certain wrestlers from that set. Um, all right. One of my favorites that I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize that I did not have the 2021 auto from. I have the 2020 and I have the ambitious auto and I have the 2022 auto, but I did not have a 2021 of, oh, what's it? Kirihara, right? Kirihara, Tokiko Kirihara. Oh, I got to stop doing these videos at one o'clock, like one o'clock, one thirty in the morning where I have to remember Japanese names after teaching English all day to Chinese speaking Taiwan, Taiwanese children. All right. That's why my brain is messed up. All right. Tokiko Kirihara. So we've got our 46 auto. I have a 46 auto of hers on a checky that I ordered directly from Choco Pro Gato Move, but I didn't have her auto card. I really like Tokiko Kirihara. So she's kind of another one of my side PCs. I have just like with WWE, I have a thousand PCs. So I just kind of figured I'll keep up the Kiri stuff and get as many Kiris as I can as well. Okay, on to our next one. Our next one here. This is 2020. Yep, 2020. And this is Yuki Aino. Aino? I think that's how we say it. Yuki Aino. Yuki Aino is like the first, I think the very first auto of one of the boxes I ever pulled. Like, I thought I had Yuki Aino from this set. Like, I was positive I did. And she's almost always the number one card in most sets. For a few years, she was at least. She was always number one. And this set, I don't have her. I thought I did, but I don't have her. I have her... Actually, that's what it is. It wasn't her auto was the first auto I pulled. Her checky is the first checky I ever pulled. So I have her checky from this set. From the True Hearts 2020 set. 
and I just wanted an auto to go with it. I have her auto, like all of my boxes, like I have them in number order, and almost every one, the picture at the front is Yuki Aino because she's almost always been the first card or near the first, and maybe I don't have the first card from that one. So, so I picked up a 2020 True Heart Yuki Aino, and since I was searching for Yuki Aino, up came a few of her cards, and one of the ones that I did not have was the 2019, which nicely goes with my my two Mayas and my Hibiscus Me here. So there's a nice 2019 of Yuki Aino. I like her. She always has that bunny. Her, her autograph has like that kind of bunny type of a look to it, so... There we are, 27 out of 90. That one was 1,600. So 16, 8, 4. That was about 12 bucks US for that one. All right. Trust me, this is like the best deal for being able to order cards. I wish, like, I, the reason, like, this card here in my hand is the reason that I ordered and the reason that my friend let me know about it. But. I searched that page because I'm still missing nine cards, nine cards from my set of ambitious and they don't have any of them. I hope at some point they do get them, but here we go. The most expensive purchase, 3,850 Japanese yen for this one, a 78 out of 85. So 3,800 um, so if we go, basically if we say 4,000, it was almost 4,000. So this was about 30 bucks, 30 bucks for me to be able to get a 2016 Maya Yuhihi. Like, like I'm going to say no, like, come on 2016. I think she started getting cards in 2015. So I'm only short two of her past cards now of course maya goes into my goes into my one touches maya always goes into a one touch for me so um let's get her in here nicely so i am now searching for there we go there we are all right we have 2019 both of them here we have 2018 here, and we have 2016 here. So now I am on the search for a 2017 and a 2015. I do believe I'm missing one of her base autos. Like one of the sets that I have, I have, there's two base autos of hers, and I only have one of them. I'm going to have to figure out which one it is. But I almost have her entire run of base autos so far. And just like we're going to put her right here, just today I got to see the box online for the BBM Women's Wrestling 2023. And the on the box, they always have like three rows of girls on the box on the front, right? And the middle row is Maya, Hikaru Shida, Yuka Sakazaki, and um, Mei Suruga. So like the four, the four main ones that I want to get from that set, well, four of most of the main ones that I want to get are right there. Always I got to get myself a Maya from that set and always I got to get a Yuka from those sets. But yeah, she's right on the cover of that box. She's right there. I have no idea what type of specialty autos they have. I still have not hit a checky. I do not have a checky of Maya. That's the one thing I'm missing from my set. I have specialty autos. I have chrome autos. I have the special set autos. I have a lot of her stuff. I just don't have a checky of hers. And I have some pretty killer checkies. I've hit Mei Suruga. I've hit um, Saki Akai. I've got Ram Kai Chow. I've got a bunch of the ones. All the big ones that everybody wants. Even Maki Ito. Like if somebody out there had... A, a, a Maya Checky. I would give up Maki Ito in a heartbeat to get that one. I think I have, yeah, last set as well. I'm pretty sure I hit a, I think I've got a Hikaru Shida as well for the Checkies. I've hit some of the really big Checky names. Just have not hit a Maya Checky. That's driving me crazy. 
Okay, so that's it. I I highly recommend this page. This Todoku, to Todoku, however you say it, I don't know. But price wise, like even the shipping, shipping was twenty four twelve six. Shipping was like twenty bucks, but that was like three day delivery from Japan to Taiwan by DHL. So I'm not going to complain about twenty bucks when I get the stuff in like seventy two hours after ordering from another country. That's no complaint at all. So twenty bucks shipping, and then the six cards, and you saw the prices of the cards. Some of these cards, the most expensive one being Maya, which was about thirty dollars. The rest of them were much lower than that, and they are all absolutely killer cards. This is a nice collection. I I had about twelve or thirteen cards in my like all in my checkout and in my shopping cart. And I had to stop myself and I was like, okay, I'm going to limit myself to a certain amount of money and a certain amount of cards. And I'm just going to go from there. And that's what I did. And I'm totally happy with these ones. I think this was a nice delivery and a nice pickup for my collection. Fills in a couple holes, fills in a couple PCs, kind of creates a couple new PCs for me and stuff like that. So Let's go through them one more time just to make a few more people jealous. I know my friend Andy out there is probably jealous as hell looking at these ones that I'm getting in here right now. So um, here we go. 2020. This is from the 2020 True Heart set. This is one of the ring announcers, um, Chiharu. We have a 2021. That one's on card, right? Yeah, these ones are all on card. I think it was only 2022 that was mostly the sticker autos. All right, 2021 of Tokiko Kirihara. We have a 2019 of Hibiscus Me. We have a 2019 of Yuki Aeno. And we have a 2020 True Heart of Yuki Aeno as well. And all of those ones are basically all numbered, usually between 90 to 110. They sh sometimes they have different numbers. I don't know why they don't have like a regular number. Like, I uh, um, Tokiko Kirihara is 14 out of 99. Um, Hibiscus Me is 92 out of 99. Uh, this one should be out of 100, I think. The sticker's right in the way. Yep, out of 100. So our Chiharu is out of 100, number 36 out of 100. We have our Yuki Aino. First one is 27 out of 90. And our second one is 67 out of 95 for Yuki. I need to get my top loaders out and put these ones in. And of course, there we go. The main reason why I ordered this stuff is my main Japanese women wrestling PC is my Yukihi. And we have a 78, 78 out of 85 card of hers from 2016. That is the only 2016 auto I have. I have some base 2017 and 16 of certain wrestlers like um Mio Shirai and a few others that I picked up just kind of base cards just in case if I could get autos on them but that's my first auto from that set actually I think this is the first auto from this set as well 2018 and 2016 anything before 2019 I don't think I have any autos in my collection anyway so these are kind of giving me a few autos from different sets so there we go. There is my delivery today. Zoom in a little bit on them. Yuki, Yuki, Kirihara, Hibiscus, Chiharu, and part of my killer, 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 my Yuki collection that I have here. So that's it for me on this one. This one actually took a bit longer than I thought it would, but then again, I talk and talk and talk on these ones and just bore the hell out of everybody until they disappear. So that's it. That was an awesome, awesome, awesome thing. Um, I'm going to try and put a link to the shop into the description for this video if I can figure out how to do it properly. Um, help some other people get some cards. Help some other people fill in some parts and get some really cool stuff from Japan. They ship fast. They do everything really, really well. They're very, they, they contact you by email to make sure of everything a couple of times, which was really, really cool. So 
I'm really impressed by these guys. I wish these things came inside of top loaders, but for the amount of the amount of all of the cardboard they used and DHL seems like they're pretty good with controlling like things not getting bent to shit. So yeah, we had a pretty, pretty, pretty good delivery here and a nice little purchase that thank God my wife's asleep or I'd be a dead man right now, probably. So that's it for me. This was a nice little bonus video. I'm happy after spending a few days back and forth to the vet with different cats and giving the vet all my money. This was a nice thing to get in today. So um, hopefully I'll be back soon. Like I always say, could be an old break, could be a new break, could be just me showing off some cards that come in. Maybe I'll just grab one of my boxes and kind of show off one of my PCs in one of the next few videos as well. Maybe we can go through my Naomi PC. I've got a big Seamus PC. I've got a Gold Dust PC. I've got a lot of PCs we could spend some time just kind of digging through and seeing what I have. But now you've seen most of my Maya PC, which is just a sweet PC to have. There we go. Let's end on Maya right there with my new Maya card. And that's it for me. Um, I will be back soon with another video. Like I said, not sure what it's going to be yet, but just... If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, then you'll get notifications. I've got 45 subscribers. It feels good. I want to hit 50. Actually, I want to hit like 10,000, but 50 would be nice. So if you haven't subscribed, just hit it. Why not? doesn't really do much for you anyway, but makes me happy. So that's it. See you guys on the next video with maybe more Maya. All right. See you later.